Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful. It is a bright sunny day here in the collapse of everything here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this lovely, it is a Wednesday afternoon. I am losing all track of the date somewhere around July 25th, 2023. I don't know, somewhere around there. Uh, anyway, guys, sitting here trying to wonder what to do for my daily chronicle of the collapse. What I was going to do was a roundup uh, from actually last night, right before midnight. You know, I talk about how I have been going on the mainstream media for years and, and how it's gone from never being able to find Doomer news to now it just looks like a, what Al Gore would say. What does he call it? A, a Sunday walk through the book of Revelation. Uh, but what happened last night for the first time ever in history, right there in the mainstream media, uh, in, in the top 100 stories in the planet, we actually had the word collapse in the headline of the story. Three different stories, probably at least two of them getting a lot of news all around the doomosphere today, and I don't need to repeat it. Of course, one was the potential collapse of the AMOC, you know, that big uh, global uh, heating belt in the ocean. Now they're saying as soon as 2025, by the uh, faster than previously expected that the AMOC could collapse, uh, pretty much uh, sending the planet into absolute chaos. The second story was about how the coral reefs in uh, the Florida Keys are undergoing right now, today, full-scale collapse as the water temperature yesterday was over 101 degrees Fahrenheit and they were looking at this one reef 100 percent mortality in one of these coral reefs in the uh, in the Florida Keys so we have uh, right now the coral reefs collapsing today maybe the AMOC collapsing in a few years. And the third one, you gotta love it, talking about saguaro cactuses in Arizona. Saguaro cactuses collapsing, mm -hmm. literally physically collapsing in the heat. We have saguaro cactuses dying of heat stroke. Uh, here in the summer of 2023, maybe the saguaro cactuses could come visit me at Bugs in a Jar Farm and uh, cool off a bit. So, ocean currents collapsing, coral reefs collapsing, saguaro cactuses collapsing in the heat, uh, I I any one of those. And... Uh, I don't know, I got up today, then someone sent me this article from The Guardian, you know, the latest, uh, beating up on doomers, that it, you know, did just more of the same from these uh, hopium-soaked apocalyptimists. Uh, you know, it, it's the doomers' fault. It, it's our fault that the planet is... Uh, in the shape it's in, and and they kept bringing up in this article that this old tired Saul, you know, these anti-doomers, uh, these little Pollyannas, uh, talking about that if somebody truly is a doomer, and you, you truly believe there is no hope, we are not turning this freight train around, uh, everything on this planet uh, is going down the toilet. Why are we so hell-bent 
on, I guess the word they used was evangelizing this. Why, why is it so important to us doomers to spread, you know, our pessimism and our negativity and, and all that uh, to otherwise blissfully ignorant, clueless morons like the people writing these articles. And uh, once again, obviously, the uh, woman who wrote this article, this opinion piece in the uh, Guardian, can't remember, some climatologist who thinks uh, that solar panels and windmills are going to save the planet. Uh, apparently, she never listened to my soft white underbelly uh, interview or any other thing I've said over the past 15 years. I have exactly zero interest in convincing any blissfully ignorant, clueless moron about how doomed we are. No interest whatsoever. I would not wish this knowledge on my worst enemy. I would not wish this knowledge, this truth with a capital T on Donald Trump. Okay, I have no interest in convincing a hopium-soaked, apocaloptimistic, normie, vanilla, clueless moron that we're doomed. I am talking to the people with the balls who can handle the truth about the single biggest story in the history of humanity, bar none, hands down, the number one biggest event in the history of our species unfolding in front of our eyes every single day. I think it is an interesting story. I think it's more interesting than Hunter Biden's laptop. Okay. I am just, I think it's an interesting story. And I'm just uh, doing my teeny weeny little part uh, in, in the debate to share the information with anybody who understands what is going on on this planet is the single biggest event in the history of our species. Anybody who does not want to hear it then doesn't need to listen. Go back to your cute cat solar panel videos. Okay, hang your pink unicorns off your windmills, whatever you want to do. All right, if it makes you sleep better tonight, go out there and do it. You know, we were, my buddies and I had a couple of doomers visiting, and we were in a friendly debate about various little subjects last night that we don't all that we don't all agree on 100% but we all though the one that we can agree on we were talking about the six sigma uh, level of uh, certainty I'm, I'm not going to get all into this but what it is 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 virtually no room for doubt the six sigma level. <laughs> Of, uh, and, and we all agree that uh, if, if we are 99.9999% certain of one thing, that all three of us and, and, and who disagree on other things can agree on, it is that we are doomed. We all agree there is not one scintilla of evidence being presented anywhere, anywhere, that we're not doomed. And every day we are getting more and more evidence that we are doomed. We are more, we are worse doomed and more quickly doomed than previously thought. So that's really all I wanted to talk about out of that article. So I was trying to figure out what to do, then I cannot believe it, guys. It has finally happened. It has finally happened. I've, I've mentioned this website before. This was right here in Yahoo News on today's 
uh, mainstream media from this uh, outfit called The Week, and they're asking a question at The Week, the, you know, the, the big question, when will, not will, but when will humans go extinct? So already we have some progress. They are not asking the questions, will humans go extinct? Because everybody knows the answer is that humans are going to go extinct. The question that uh, you know more and more people are starting to ask is when will humans go extinct? And, and I honestly have never figured out why this question is that important to people. I, I just, it, it's never been that interesting of a question to me. When, they, 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 they you know, I, I just, my, my stock answer is uh, humans will go extinct on March 17th, 2074 at 417 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so how is the week? And it was a little bit of a letdown. I thought we might be getting a serious discussion of this question, but there is no such thing. Basically, there's two answers, and we will break this down. The, the two answers, according to the week, answer one, humans will go extinct sooner than we think, which is probably uh, a pretty good answer, is when we do go extinct, it will be sooner than I would say 99% of normies think. However, if you are one of these people who think uh, humans are going to be extinct somewhere between 2026 and 2030, or even 2050, you are every bit as much a clueless moron as anybody who thinks we're going to be here in 10,000 years. All right. So uh, I, I, I have no problem uh, with that. And then, of course, the other real cop-out answer is not quite yet which is also true. So these, these are both good answers. Uh, I, and the more I think about it, I, I agree with when will humans go extinct? It's either, it's going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be both. This is not an either or. This is a both and. It is going to be sooner than we, uh, meaning the vast majority of humanity think, but it's not quite yet. We're going to hang on a little bit longer and see how hard Mother Nature has to shake us off like fleas. Anybody who's ever tried to shake a flea off of them knows what Mother Nature is up against trying to shake 8 billion fleas off of her. Anyway, take it away the week for your little uh, cop-out story here. <clears throat> Life on Earth has reached its sixth mass extinction, which, as we talked about in a recent rant, is usually defined as about 75% of the world species being lost in a short period of geological time, which is further defined as 2.8 million years and I assure you that a hell of a lot more than 75% of the world species are going to be gone a hell of a lot sooner than uh, 2.8 million years. The question being, on humans' mind, are we going to be one of those species? Okay. And as, we, as I just had uh, the rant on, while the previous mass extinctions came about due to natural c causes... Forbes reported in a rant that I covered, quote, this is the first mass extinction event that is the result of the actions of just one species, humans. So many 
of the extinctions are due to various ecological problems caused by climate change and pollution, meaning the, you know, the first five. Within, I mean, with the human footprint, with the human footprint on extinction, experts have debated whether we will cause our own demise in the near future as well, given the threats of climate change as well as artificial intelligence and nuclear power and all the rest of them, all of which have been shown to have potentially catastrophic effects. So here is the sooner than we think camp. Climate change is sending Earth's ecosystems, quote, toward collapse, toward collapse much sooner than scientists thought, close quote, with a number of the planet's tipping points approaching quickly, wrote Ben Turner for Live Science. Tipping points refer to changes that we cannot come back from, like the melting of the Arctic permafrost. Quote, this means that significant social and economic costs from climate change might come much sooner than expected, leaving governments with even less time to react than first thought. Close quote. Back to uh, the story, uh, we are already seeing the loss, you know, of other species across the globe. This is, I have no idea who Tim Newcomb is, but whoever, they, they do not explain who Tim Newcomb, who, who the hell Tim Newcomb is, but uh, this is what the, uh, the enigmatic Tim Newcomb uh, how he explains it, quote, the only other times the mass extinction levels have reached where they are now, meaning today, are following massive global natural disasters. To put it bluntly, the current way of Earth will kill off humans way of life, close quote. As human activities are destroying habitats globally, spelling disaster for a number of species, and it's certainly what Tim, whoever Tim is, to put it bluntly, the current way will kill off humans' way of life. Uh, anybody who, you know, talking basically about global industrial civilization, it's gone. Uh, and this life, that the, the, this little fantasy we've been living for the past couple of hundred years, that one's coming to an end. The question is, when will the last human snuff out? And of course, artificial intelligence is also a threat to humanity. And quote... It seems only a matter of time before computers become smarter than people, close quote. Emil Torres, whoever that is, wrote for the Washington Post, experts have warned of the threat of AI leading to human extinction, namely prediction, predicting that computers may take on the role of superior beings to humans ultimately leading to our downfall. Quote, I guess quoting whoever this uh, Emil Torres is, quote, it's unclear humanity will ever be prepared for super intelligence, but we are certainly not ready now, close quote. And, of course, they could have gone on and on and on and on and on and on and on, and on uh, with the sooner than we think. Uh, but for space, they take a, a look. The reporter goes over and looks at the not-quite-yet camp where we get 
to the uh, where we get to the hopium, the not quite yet. When will humans go extinct count? Despite, despite the looming threats, we cannot overlook humanity's resilience. This is whoever K.C. Cole is remarked in, oh, K.C. Cole, she's a physicist. K.C. Cole is actually the mother of uh, a, a, a former roommate of mine. If I had to choose the single biggest clueless moron uh, on this planet I've ever had for a roommate, it was my buddy, uh, what was Pete? And uh, I remember when Pete told me that Casey Cole was his mother, and uh, I, I said, dude, there is no way that K.C. Cole's loins through you. I anyway, enough of my personal history. All right. So according to, I'm pretty sure they're talking about this physicist, K.C. Cole, quote, humans have long been distinguished for their capacity for empathy, kindness, the ability to recognize and respond to um, emotions in others. Yes, we have a sense of self, and I guess still according to K.C. Cole, pride ourselves on creativity and innovation, originality, adaptability, and reason, close quote. And because of that, because of that, it is too early to be certain that we are headed to our end just yet. Okay, what does Avi Jorish, whoever Avi Jorish is, have to say about this? Quote, We are also in an era of abundance and remarkable wealth that is fueling innovation that could enable us fundamentally to change our destiny. Yes, said uh, Avi Jorish. But then he added, the bigger problem may actually be, hu be humans stagnating themselves because of negative outlooks. It's those doomers. Those doomers. This is... Uh, Whoever the hell Shannon Osaka is talking about how uh, talking about how uh, how 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 how, uh, how how hope can change our game over trajectory. Uh, quote: Psychologists have long believed. That some amount of her, some, some amount of her, some amount of her, of her, combined with a belief, with a belief, you know, based on nothing, that personal actions can make a difference, can keep people engaged on climate change, but. Finding the balance between constructive worry and a sort of fatalistic doom is difficult. And uh, whoever this Jorish is says, whether we're headed towards utopia or dystopia or something in between, we'll rest on the decisions humanity makes over the next few years, close quote. The key is to leverage humanity's knack for innovation, and quote, if used for good, it will allow us to make the world a far better place, close quote. And we have 33 comments I like the comment from Anonymous about when human when will humans go extinct? 
when they don't update their smartphones and self-driving cars, download the right app or scan the next QR code. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, a lot of people spouting the Bible. Uh, here is Robert. Humans will go extinct when the last human dies. Can't argue with that. I love this one by Monty. When will humans go extinct? Not fast enough. Two thumbs up. Now three thumbs up. No thumbs down. And then, of course, what does Humpty Dumpty have to say? About when will humans go extinct? Humpty Dumpty, not soon enough, according to every other species of fellow earthling we share this planet with, that we are taking down with us on our own long overdue way out. Let's see how long before the comedians start with the, you go first. <laughs> You go first. Hilarious knee slapper when denying this fundamental truth. You must have gone to college to be so funny. Oh, God. Yep. The, uh, the last, the last thing that e even the doomers are going to uh, stop denying uh, or keep denying as the case may be as that uh, the answer to the question when will humans go extinct the only important answer is not soon enough uh, I'm hoping we're all gone tomorrow anyway but as long as I'm here with my eight billion clueless moron cancer cells, uh, I'm gonna get out and, and enjoy this beautiful day cause I blew up another gas sucking lawnmower. I have blown up another gas sucking lawnmower. And uh, I still have my Save the Planet electric mower uh, but I don't want to blow it up cause I paid $675 for it. So I got to go buy another uh, cheap throwaway $50 uh, gas sucking lawnmower, use it a couple of times, and then go throw it in the landfill and buy another gas sucking lawnmower so I don't hurt my $675 electric lawnmower, you know, to save the planet because if the grass is longer than a putting green, uh, the 60 amp mower cannot handle it. So I am off to Habitat for Humanity to buy yet another, this will be the third gas sucking lawnmower uh, this year, while I still can. Game over. You're dead. This little dog, when will humans go extinct? Uh, bye, guys.